some tea, anyone? Back to Simon Durante and what he is saying about being King Charles and Camilla's love child from when they were a teenager. So the prophecy of Nostradamus said that King Charles was going to be dethroned because they were going to find him unfit to be king and that someone that was not supposed to be king was going to be the next king. And this is where it gets all mushy and complicated, but hear me out, hear me out, because it's good. If it were to be true that Simon is King Charles and Camilla's son, that would make him the firstborn. But that's not all. Simon says that he is going to go as far as request DNA paternity tests for William and Harry because he says that they're illegitimate. Now, Harry, I always thought that he wasn't Charles' son because he ju looks just like the guy that after ended up being Princess Diana's a lover. I'm just going to leave the photos here. I mean, allegedly, right? Anywho, going back to Simon. Simon also declares himself Team Megan, saying that she was right to walk out of there. He does not like King Charles. He wants to find out that he's the father, that he's his father, but he doesn't like the guy. And he said something around this line about, I don't need to like him, I just want to know if it's true. He said that he would never go to the coronation because why would he want to be around people that think that they are better than him? And he said that this is something that Meghan Markle said and that he totally agrees with her. And that if you are taking sides with the royal family criticizing Meghan Markle, that means that you don't know what's really going on. And this is all like media manipulation and that she's actually the good guy. They're all the bad guys, and we're being manipulated into not liking her. I really don't have an opinion on her. I don't dislike her, and I don't like her. I am neutral to the thing. Any woman that goes and marries into that royal family, I feel bad for them. That's it. I'm like, for experience. Now we don't hear it so much. But 20 years ago, Diana, the other redhead, oh my God. Just, no, they are horrible to women that marry into their family. Then we have these pictures of him compared to Camilla, him compared to Charles, him compared to Queen Elizabeth. 